blessings upon you. Thank you for joining us today in prayer here at the God Minute. I'm Father Ron. Sister Grace has our reflection today on the Word of God. We're so glad you joined us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 122, The Temple I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to a sacred place, a place where the divine is, to give thanks. Though I know that God is everywhere, I go gladly. I pray for peace here and in all the places of earth. Peace in Jerusalem, peace in Baghdad, peace in all places torn by violence, peace and justice. Peace for my friends, peace for my adversaries. I seek what is good for all for the sake of peace. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 1 to 2. Keep on loving each other as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by doing so, some have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Keep on loving each other as brothers and sisters. Keep on. This persistence in love is a challenge to every Christian soul, me first. When I was a pre-K teacher, I wanted my classroom to feel like a family. There were these two boys who always played together, but frequently got into scuttles. One afternoon, they were building a 50-piece puzzle. Jack became upset with Luke, and the puzzle broke apart into all of its 50 pieces. They both walked away from the scene in opposite directions, very furious. Thankfully, after some coaxing, the boys returned to clean up their mess, but they did not speak to each other for some time. I just observed them, waiting to see how all of this would unfold. Then, as if Grace had hit the scene like a bullet, one of them said, Sorry, Jack. And then Jack replied, I'm really sorry too, Luke. They didn't say anything else to each other for several minutes, but the contrition and implied forgiveness of two five-year-old boys moved my heart. Keep on loving. Keep on. How many of us grown-ups would respond with such simplicity, humility, and desire to make amends? Loving each other as brothers and sisters is what the author to Hebrews asks of us. Brothers and sisters are very familiar with each other's weaknesses. They frequently get into scuttles. But that familial bond and joint connection with one father always wins at the end of the day. Keep on loving. Keep on. Our Carmelite father, St. John of the Cross, writes, it's one of his most famous quotes, Where there is no love, put love and there you will find love. The only thing stopping me or you from treating that someone, and yes, we all know who that is in our lives, like a brother or sister, is us. Keep on loving each other as brothers and sisters. We're already sharing the same father, so keep on. And together, as Jesus taught us, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, how can I obey and love you conditionally when you loved me unconditionally? You looked down from the cross and saw us betraying, denying, forsaking you, and yet you stayed. Help me to cling to you and obey you no matter what. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. spirit. May the Lord bless and keep you and shed his light upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's it for us today. Thank you for making the God Minute a part of your prayer. Go forth now in the love of Christ and give the love of Christ. See you tomorrow.